Hello, my name is Yasmin Hernandez Barco, and I'm a medical pancreatologist at Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston. For this first question, I tell all of my patients to carry a kit for any kind of emergency. When I say a kit, what I mean is have it include all of the medications that you might need when you're not at home. This should include extra pancreatic enzymes, pain medications, pain management alternatives, a small air freshener, gas X, anything you think you might need. I know that many individuals don't talk about this, but some of the stresses of being outside of the home is having a bowel movement in a bathroom where people can hear what's going on. One of the best things to do to, to drown out the sounds of going to the bathroom, even though it's totally natural, is to play music from your phone, have the water running, and it's a great strategy to minimize any of those uh, very normal bowel movement sounds. And really anything that you can do to prepare yourself ahead of time to understand the environment where you're going to be, knowing where the bathrooms are, if there's a room where you can lie down if you're not feeling well, to be alone for a while during the get-together, all of these things will help you feel more prepared to manage any of your symptoms should they occur outside of your home. The best way to deal with any changes in your diet and potential symptoms is to be prepared. Any amount of preparation you can do before going out to a restaurant or going to a friend or family member's home is to be as prepared as possible. If you can, look at a menu ahead of time or talk to the host or hostess to see what they'll be serving. That way you can have an idea of what you may want to eat. Planning which items you feel comfortable eating will take a lot of that stress off because you already know what you're going to consume while you're there, and you can really enjoy time with friends and family. The other thing that I always recommend to my patients is to take an extra pancreatic enzyme anytime you eat a meal out of your home or prepared by someone else, because there always tends to be a little bit of extra butter or fat or things that you know do make it a little more delicious but can be difficult to tolerate, especially if you have chronic pancreatitis or exocrine insufficiency. And also prior to a large meal, even if you don't take it routinely, taking an anti-diarrheal about 45 minutes before eating a large meal can be very helpful to alleviate the urgency that you feel from having a meal that you're not accustomed to. And lastly, when eating out, I do recommend eating a slightly smaller portion than you're used to at home just to make sure that you're able to tolerate it. Oftentimes, even if the ingredients can be bothersome, if you eat a slightly smaller meal and you have your pancreatic enzymes on board, it'll be easier to tolerate. The holidays can be stressful for everyone, especially when dealing with a chronic condition that causes significant symptoms. Stress plays a critical role in symptom worsening for any condition. Because the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system are so closely connected, any kind of increased stress emotionally can actually augment the severity of any GI symptoms that you already experience at baseline. And it can lead to increased pain, increased bloating, and increased diarrhea or loose bowel movements. Even the simple awareness of how closely these things are connected can help you develop strategies ahead of time leading up to the holidays and also how to cope with it in the moment of stress. What I generally recommend to all of my patients is that before the holidays or before a stressful event, try to understand what are activities that you can engage in that actually help you manage your stress better. Is this exercise? Is this meditation? Do breathing techniques help you? And ensuring that you have good sleep and balanced diet as best you can leading up to this will really help increase that bandwidth of managing any stress. And most importantly, do not put extra pressure on yourself. Engage in the activities that truly bring you joy. Go to a family gathering if it's enjoyable, if you love the people that are there, and if not, enjoy some alone time without um, work demands being as high around the holidays. The most important thing is you feeling uh, well and stress-free. As I previously mentioned, preparation is likely the best approach. Often it's the unknown about a situation that causes the most stress and anxiety. Do we know where the bathroom is? Is someone going to be able to hear me when I go to the bathroom? What if I have pain? What if I have nothing that I can eat? What if I forget my medications? So anything that you can do to help you better prepare is going to help you decrease the anxiety around a new situation and environment. And it is perfectly acceptable if you feel comfortable to reach out to the host or hostess ahead of time and ask these questions. 
Is it possible to have a private bathroom in another part of the house? Would there be a room where you could lie down for a bit if you don't feel well? And I also encourage patients to travel with snacks that they have, um, that they know that they can tolerate. And of course, that kit that I talked about before with extra pancreatic enzymes, pain medication, antidiarrheals, and even heating pads, if you know that that's helped you in the past. As a hostess, I always ask my guests if they have any dietary restrictions or preferences. I don't frame it around a disease state, but instead, what do people like to eat? And in general, when preparing meals for patients with chronic pancreatitis or exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, I will make sure that I have non-alcoholic beverage options and also low sugar non-alcoholic beverage options like flavored seltzer, especially because it can be very difficult to manage blood sugar as well. While individuals with chronic pancreatitis and exocrine pancreatic insufficiency can in general tolerate fats and proteins, large volumes of these macronutrients may often aggravate some of the baseline symptoms when they're consumed in higher quantities. In general, I try to limit the amount of fat in each meal, and some good swaps are olive oil spray rather than full olive oil or vegetable oil. Um, you can use non-fat dairy alternatives like 0% Greek yogurt instead of sour cream, or reduce the amount of cheese or butter in a recipe, for example, because it can be very irritating when someone has chronic pancreatitis or exocrine pancreatic insufficiency. But I really do think that the most important thing is to ask all of your guests what their dietary restrictions are or preferences. And this way, no one will feel singled out, but instead all preferences can be taken into consideration. I hope you have a wonderful holiday and remember work with your physicians to come up with the best plan for you going into the holiday season. Mm -hmm.